This is, yeah, you guys have, have has everyone seen the Q900 so far? A couple of times. Yeah. We, um, we showed this, I think, uh, in the Intel booth over at Mobile World Congress where we were in February, right? Uh -huh. And uh, I I there we had a pre-production unit that was being shown. This one's now been launched, so this is, we purchased this one, so this is what they're now selling. And uh, it's running Android, as everyone knows. So what I wanted to show today is, uh, last week there was a new Android benchmark that released from uh, the principal technologies. Have you guys looked at Touch Expert or Web Expert or any of the expert benchmarks that they've developed for Windows? No. Uh, it's a group of guys. The guys that developed uh, Windstone back when Ziff Davis benchmarking operations, the, the guys that were running that are running a company out called PT and they're starting to develop benchmarks again. And uh, what this one is, is this is the first one that they've developed that runs on Android. So you can run it on the K900, you can run it on uh, Samsung Galaxy, you can run it on, there's uh, one over there, a MediaTek phone. So they're all running pretty much the same thing. And what it does is it, it runs <coughs> applications. So uh, unlike most of the Android benchmarks that are out there today that tend to be very synthetic, um, these are application based. So right now it's going to run through and uh, apply some effects to photos. Um, it will go through a test where it creates a collage like for, for example, what you might do on Instagram. Uh, it will allow you to create a slideshow, so it measures all of these various things and uh, shows you the time that it takes to run each of them and then it aggregates a score as well. But the interesting thing that we found is, you know, it's one of the few application-based tests that we've ever seen that runs on Android. So I would encourage you guys to check it out, take a look at it. I think they I think they charge $20 to join the community and that way you can provide feedback and get early access to their uh, to their tests that they're developing. And it's open source too, so we can <coughs> yeah. check the source code and see if there is any funky business. Why are they charging me for an open source app? No, they're charging you to be a member <laughs> of the, the community. The apps will give it a free. name. <laughs> I think uh, this is, from what they were saying, they're planning to put this on the App Store. So it would be something that... And hopefully the next few months you'll be able to download from the App Store. Mm -hmm.